George Zimmerman, if you don't sit your... This video is brought to you by The Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store, get the link in the description section. Let's get into this. George Zimmerman, you know the one who killed Trayvon Martin? Uh, uh, that they, 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 they got off? And, and let, me, let me say this. Let me, let me say this before I start because I don't want no SJWs uh, even, even getting the wrong impression. Unfortunately, they did not have enough evidence based on witness testimony to convict George Zimmerman. Everybody in their mama know that that man was at his car when the police operator told him to, to, to not follow Trayvon when Trayvon ran away from him. Let me go back further than that. Trayvon Martin, I don't care what he looked like. I don't care if he was, he was making lean, which is my philosophy. I don't care if he's smoking weed. I don't care what he was doing. I don't care if he's committing a crime. George Zimmerman ain't even a police officer. Bro, you ain't even a cop. You shouldn't even be dealing with nobody. Mess around and get murked. And you almost got murked. But you shouldn't be dealing with nobody. And then when they tell you to stop pursuing a kid who just ran from you, you should probably listen. Therefore, you wouldn't have never been in a position where you felt like you had to use your gun because you was getting your tail whooped. So everybody knows that he must have ran down Trayvon Martin or ran into him somewhere in the apartment complex when the Joker shouldn't have never been there. They got into a fight based on what the court documents showed and what the testimony showed was that he was losing a fight, that, that Trayvon was on top of him. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. The problem is that they didn't have enough witness statements and visuals to see who started the fight. And if Trayvon started the fight, he would have been in the wrong, technically. But that's not here nor there. But this coward, this piece of crap, is back in the media, back in the news, because he had the nerve to sue Trayvon Martin's family and the city for $100 million. And let me, let me, let me read uh, uh, the charges, or at least his, 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 uh, uh, his defense, or his claim of, of, of restitution from the city and Trayvon Martin's family. He claims that he won $100 million from Trayvon Martin's parents, their attorney, and others. Zimmerman claimed that he was a victim of conspiracy along with malicious prosecution and defamation. Bro, you lucky you ain't under the jail, first of all. Conspiracy? There don't need to be conspiracy. You, you are the conspiracy. You're the one that put yourself in this situation. You, you ain't had no business trying to be a glorified rental cop. You had no business doing that. And, and, and defamation, listen, bro, when you shoot a, a young kid and kill him, and you ain't had no business doing that, and, and let, let alone, this is, not, this is not Zimmerman's only record. As soon as he got off of that, he committed more crimes. He's been in jail even after and then he, now he's out. I think he even sold, tried to sell the gun that he shot Trayvon with. This dude is off his rocker. And I pray, I just pray, I just pray that justice is served with him. Because he didn't learn his lesson. He didn't, he didn't ask for forgiveness and say, I made a mistake. This joker is just running it down the throats of people that already dislike him. And want to see him six feet under the ground. I just can't with some of these people, man. And this is no different, in my opinion, than other uh, situations where the court system is not perfect. Uh, O.J. Simpson was one of them. I think most people would argue that O.J. Simpson did it. But he got off because of technicalities in the court of law. Zimmerman did it. He got off because of technicalities in the court of law. The Central Park Five did that. But they got off because of technicalities in the court of law. So did, uh, uh, what's, his, what's his name? Rodney Reed. Rodney Reed is a, is a, is a, is a child, you know what, ist. Y'all know I can't say it on here. But he get off, or he didn't get put to, put, to, to, put to dirt, pretty much, because of technicalities in the court system. It, it, it goes on and on and on. And so when a lot of people are talking about, oh, the justice system is against people. No, a lot of people get off because of flaws in the justice system. A lot of people that should be in jail ain't in jail. A lot of people that's doing malicious stuff, driving cars drunk, and, and you know what, ending people's lives, they still walking around free after doing two years in prison. I mean, the justice system, not only has it has problems with locking people up that it probably shouldn't have given more time, which I think is rare. I think it's rare. It has done more damage 
by letting people off or giving people shorter sentences through plea deals and all other stuff. And even the, the, the code in the hood, no snitching, has, has gotten people off so much that it's become a detriment in our society. And we see it with people like George Zimmerman. Now, I ain't going to spend too much time on this video. I think it's self-explanatory. Let me know what you think about George Zimmerman. I think he's a P.O.S. And I, I, I'm sure all y'all do. You, I want to know, right in the comment section, who don't think he a piece of crap? Who don't think he, he should be in prison? Let me, you, I want to hear from you. Y'all let me know, man. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell. Visit the Off Tatum store. Bookmark the channel. Y'all know what to do. I'll see y'all on the next one, man. I'm out.